Let's plug in the Model Y now, and let's just see exactly how much it costs to charge the Model Y, and how many miles we get. Green means we're charging. We are plugged in now in the Model Y, and here's some of the statistics uh, of charging. Uh, we're at 38%, as you see. We are charging at 12 kilowatts. Uh, so far, we've uh, added zero kilowatt hours since we just plugged in. It's 48 amps at 243 volts. So to get the proper kilowatt, you multiply 241 times 48 and assume a power factor of one makes it easy, and that will give you your kilowatts. Currently, we're charging at 12 kilowatts. So let's go have a look at the power meter that I installed on the wall that monitors the amount of power that goes into the car from the power panel. Behind this panel is the junction where all of the wall connectors are charged from. It is a 100 amp circuit. It goes into three sections powering one of three wall connectors that are hooked to the cars. So let's take a look at the actual data here. So this monitors our input voltage, it says 247 volts. We have currently, we're drawing 11.8 kilowatts, and I showed you that on the inside of the car. Uh, we're in North America, so it's 60 hertz. In Europe, it would be 50. Uh, currently, we're seeing 48.37 amps, 0.34, it bobbles around a little bit. This is the accumulated power that I used for charging all my cars since I installed this. I'm almost at a megawatt hour of charge. And of course you notice the power factor here is 1.0, which means it appears to be purely resistive, not inductive, and so it allows you to convert. So you multiply 247, times 48.231, whatever it is, and that will get you 11.9 kilowatts. That's the amount of charge power that's going into the car. So now that we have this information, let's do a little calculation. So in true back of the napkin math, let's have a look here. We measured on the wall, which is the supply voltage higher, but in the car, it's 243 volts AC, 48 amps, with a power factor of 1.0, which means there's no reactants. 243 times 48, which is voltage times current, assuming a power factor of 1, that's 11.644 kilowatts, or round it up to 11.6 kilowatts. Now, in order to calculate how much I pay for 11.6 kilowatts, I measure 11.6 times what I pay per kilowatt hour from my local rural co-op electric company, which is 0 0.09339 cents. And that's for every kilowatt hour. So at one hour, at 11.6 times 0 0.09339 cents per kilowatt hour, let's have a look here on the other side. All right, well, here you have it. We check back in the car and check the current reading. It's 43 miles for every hour of charge at the cost of a dollar eight cents. So that means for a dollar eight cents, 
you can drive your Tesla 43 miles. So you don't have to be a rocket scientist to figure out that at 250 per gallon, with a car, perhaps it's a little car, gives you lots of miles, maybe 30 miles, say. It costs you a heck of a lot more for 43 miles than it does if you have an electric car. I did a little calculation here using a gasoline car. I took an average cost per gallon of $2.70. I picked an average miles per gallon of 30. So I did a little calculation. I divided $2.70 by 30 miles and I got 9 cents per mile is the cost of driving a fossil fuel gasoline car per mile at 30 miles per gallon. I multiplied the 9 cents per mile by 43 miles what we saw on the electric side. That comes out to $3.87 for 43 miles of driving. A further calculation below shows us that the cost of gasoline for 43 miles is $3.87. The cost for an electric car is $1.08. $3.87 minus $1.08 costs in a gasoline driver of a fossil fuel car $2.79 more to go 43 miles. Now, I don't know about you. You don't have to be a rocket scientist to kind of figure out that that is an awful expensive way to get there. This is a calculation that you can do yourself. Take these numbers, plug in your cost per gallon, your mileage that you get on your car, and follow the same procedure and see exactly what it costs you per 43 miles to drive your existing fossil fuel car. Now, I'm not going to even get into what it costs for maintenance. Oil changes, radiator flushes, transmission service, that kind of stuff. But that's an all extra cost that you'll pay just by owning a fossil fuel car. So an electric car by far appears to be a much more economical way to drive around. 43 miles for a dollar and eight cents. You cannot go wrong with that. Now, if your house has a uh, different cost for your electricity, Take this formula, replace this number here with what you pay per kilowatt hour of electricity at your house, and then you will get a different number here. And then you look in the car and it will tell you when you set it to miles, how many miles you're getting, which will be same 43, 44, depending on the voltage. And then you'll have a different number for here. But I guarantee you, if you're paying more for electricity, you're also paying more for gasoline. They seem to track. So there you go. The cost of driving an electric car in black and white. So let's just recap it, okay? So here's our calculations. It's 243 volts AC. 48 amps when you charge your car using a wall connector, a power factor of 1.0, which means that the load in the car is a non-reactive load. We take our formula of 243 multiplied times 48 amps. This is normal Ohm's law, and you get watts. In this case, we had 11,644 watts. I rounded it up to 11.6 kilowatts. And then in order to get hours of kilowatts, you multiply how many hours it's at 11.6 kilowatts. So I take for one hour, 11.6 times 0 0.9339 is what I pay per kilowatt hour. And then here's the formula on the back. I take 
11.6 kilowatts, multiply it by the cost per kilowatt hour, and that gives me a cost of 1.083324 for every hour of charge. If I charge one hour, I get 43 miles of range for a dollar and eight cents. I challenge anybody, unless they have a lower cost of electricity, to be able to drive 43 miles in whatever kind of car you have to actually get this mileage for a dollar eight cents. Now, of course, I don't need to rag on fossil fuel cars because the cost doesn't end at the cost of fuel. The fuel is just a portion of it. You have all of the oil changes and air filters and all of the regular maintenance for those vehicles. You cannot beat an electric car on cost per mile. I'm sorry. If you like this video, go ahead and click the like, click the subscribe, and don't forget to click the bell icon just in case you'd like to see more videos coming up. If you'd like to buy a Tesla and get this kind of cost per mile, the referral link is shown here at the bottom of the screen that gets you 1,000 free supercharger miles or 1,500 kilometers of free supercharger miles if you use this link. Thank you for watching. I'll look for you again and take care.